Don't destroy yourself in this pandemic. Lift yourself. And we are the human race. We can lift ourselves. The Eastern wisdom gives a befitting answer how to meet these challenges. Uddharet Atmana Atmana Atmanam Atmanam Avsadayet The Master says, lift yourself by yourself. Don't degrade don't go down. Don't degrade yourself by the self. So pick up the two principles here. First thing, lift yourself by yourself. So one self is the real self, which is of the nature of peace, happiness, love and wisdom. It is our essential nature. You cannot undo it. So what is the other self? It is the intellect. The intellect must take over the mind. The mind receives negative information from outside. Mind is attached too much. Mind has a craving. So the intellect must take over the mind rather than the mind dictates the intellect. And when the mind dictates the intellect, you have anxiety, you have fear, you have duality, you have conflict. So that is why the master says, lift yourself by yourself. What should we do? By, what should we do? Break the habit now. In order, not only in order to survive, but evolve. And what is that habit? The pleasure-seeking mind that runs in the world outside. It is by default happening. We have never taken care of. And now it is a big opportunity for us to understand this nature of the pleasure-seeking mind that causes the craving and start working on the mind through the intellect. That is the meaning of lift yourself by lift, by yourself. Lift the journey of life by the intellect through clarity of understanding. At the same time, the second, the second principle in this verse, Atmanam Navasada, don't degrade yourself. How do you degrade? Uh, fear, anxiety, hesitation, anger, the infighting stars at home in this situation, in this pandemic. So don't degrade yourself. Don't get carried away by the mind. Don't fall prey to the craving, the pleasure-seeking mind. Just start thinking, is the mind moving out for pleasure-seeking, craving, anxiety, stress, duality? Think. So when you start thinking and separating yourself, at least intellectually, you start helping yourself. At least you will not engage in any kind of a conflict or isolation that causes the anxiety and the anger. And what is the third point in the verse? Kri Atma Atma Bandhu Atma Atma Ripuhu, the mind, that intellect is the best friend at this moment in this situation of pandemic. And it is the mind that is the worst enemy. Worst enemy. Mind has a pleasure-seeking attitude. 
it has a craving for something, for social interaction, it becomes the worst enemy. So without thinking, separating that pleasure-seeking, craving-seeking mind in this situation, in this condition of pandemic, the mind becomes our worst enemy. So you see that what, uh, what is the first liner? Lift yourself by the intellect that has the wisdom. Don't degrade yourself. When the intellect is devoid of the wisdom, when, when the mind is dictating us, and then it says, mind is the worst enemy. So I have to recognize, just recognize that craving, craving, seeking mind, pleasure seeking mind, uh, fighting with the social isolation or distancing, and apply the intellect to make it the best friend. What should I do? How should I do? How to move that mind? The self, that is why it says self is the worst enemy. So here the self is mind and the self is the best friend. So now I have understood it intellectually. No, simply by passing on the, I'm passing on the information. You have to use these four points. Lift yourself by the intellect. It means I should start thinking. The moment you start thinking, the mind that is dictating over the intellect will loosen its power and the intensity. And then I must be aware, any movement of the mind that is degrading me, causing me the fear, anxiety, depression, either due to social isolation, either due to not earning the money, survival is the is most more important. And then the master clearly defines, mind is the worst enemy. So when it becomes the worst enemy, when it opposes you, the direction, the signs are talking about social distancing, taking care uh, as a preventive measure. So I have to think. It is not that I just read the information and I forget. The, why you forget? The mind is still craving. Mind has become your worst enemy. You, I need not to forget. I have to repeat in my mind again and again and again until the intellect dictates over the mind and it drops those movements which may lead to anxiety, fear, and problems in the suffering. Understand that. Again, I'm repeating. Lift yourself by your intellect. Second, don't degrade yourself by... Who degrades yourself? Your mind. What will I do? Nothing to do now. And what to do? Move the mind inside. When the mind will move inside, when the mind is your best friend, it listens to you. How it will listen to you? Through the intellect. So tell yourself, when the mind becomes my best friend and when the mind becomes my worst enemy. So we have understood the principle. We have heard the principle. And when you repeat, you have understood those principles. After understanding the principle, simple path. I, you, your mind can say, I don't know. Now you know it. Your intellect say, I don't understand. Now you have understood it. I don't experience. What is the next step comes? Practice, practice, practice. And a simple practice will take you so deep. And by regular practice, these four principles will become your constant companion in your daily life.
and that practice which I say relaxation and relaxation mindfulness practice. It is so simple. So once you have clearly understood, close your eyes. How do we prepare? You can sit or lie down. Find out the most comfortable position of your body. Position. So when you're looking at the position of the body that is comfortable and it gives you an experience, a kind of steadiness. Good. And look inside, inside the head or inside the heart. What do you find? A oh, space, emptiness. Don't get scared of it. Look there. Why? We are preparing the mind to go into a deeper relaxation practice. These are be the entire practice is based on very subtle principles that I will reveal in the following videos. So now another point of making you comfortable making you comfortable, move the mind on the neck joint. So the mind is going to the neck joint. The neck joint doesn't move. So the mind goes to the neck joint. You feel the sensation being comfortable and steadiness. So move the mind on the shoulder joints. Mind moves. You feel the sensation being comfortable and steadiness. The shoulder doesn't move. Normally we have the habit of moving it. Move the mind on the neck joint, feel the sensation being comfortable and steadiness. The entire body is comfortable. 